Hi everyone, thank you for joining us. Are you ready for a total body workout today? We're going to be doing aerobics, we're going to be doing conditioning exercises, we're going to work through your whole body. So to start out we need to warm up just a little bit. Down at my feet you might see a collection of things, don't worry about those too much right now. If you've got balls, frisbees, weights or any other toys to play with, grab those, that's great. But if you don't, it doesn't matter. You're just going to be moving with us. We might be throwing these things around madly, but all you have to do is keep moving. Okay team, easy walk on the right leg. Try it right now. Take it out. Step out, coming back. Make sure that none of your toys are going to trip you over. Alright? And then take a tap change over to the other side. So you guys make sure you're not going to trip on any of those weights or tubes. Nearly there. Alright team, go back to the right leg. Take it into a mambo. That's forward and back. Forward and back. Do one more and then take a cha-cha to get to the other side. Here we go. Forward and back. Just a little bit of hip if you wish. One more time, then you take that cha-cha-cha to the corner. Over to one side and back. Staying to this side, not yet. Come on, don't get too tricky. And the cha-cha to the other side. Over and back. That's it. Two more. Last one. Cha-cha, single side to side. Over and back. Sweep across, come back. Keep your head up nice and high. Four more times, here we go. Four, and lift. Three, lift. Two, and we're going back to the beginning, right leg easy walks. Here we go. Step out. Four easy walks on the right leg. Two more. One more time, and take a tap change over to the other side. That's a left foot leading. Two more times. One more time. All you're gonna do is mambo, forward and back. Right leg forward and back. That's it, four times. Three. You got two, and then we take a cha-cha over to the other side. Forward and back. Forward and back. Come on, keep it moving to the corners. Four times, over and back. Come on, stay with it. Cha-cha, other side, I thought you might. Come on, we slowly build our way into it. All right, are you ready this time? We're going to the singles. Let's go, over and out. Big steps. Belly button staying nice and tight. You got four more times. Push four. Out. Three. Come on. That's two. How about an easy walk on the right leg? Breathing in, lowering down. Breathing in, lowering down. Stay on that right leg. Stretch up and down. One more. Stretching up and then down. Heel presses straight ahead. Reach and pull. Side tap, open it out now. Four, three, take a toe tap behind, reach and stretch. All the way. March on the spot, breathe in and out. Heel digs again, let's go. That's four, three, two, take it out to the side. Push, two, three, everyone tap back, go now. Four, three, two, march and breathe. Lifting up, switch it over to the left foot, heel digs, let's go. Four, three, Two, take that out to the side. Open out. Four, three, two, and back. Stretch out now. March and breathe. Lift it up. You're staying on that left side. One more time. Heel press. Open. Two, three. To the side now. Stretch out. Two, three. Take it back. Four, three, two. March and breathe in. Exhale down and out. Roll your shoulders up and back. Two more times. Lift up. Back and down, one more time. Lift it up, back and down. Mambo step, forward and back. Switch it over the other side, straight away. Forward and back, go straight into your switch, do it again. Forward and back, switch it around. Forward and back. Three easy walks and a pivot turn. One, two, you know the pivot turn, step and turn. Easy walk, three times. That's two. Try the pivot turn and then go into your mambo cha-cha-cha. So you're gonna go forward, back, forward, and cha-cha-cha. Forward, back, forward, and cha-cha-cha. Forward, back, forward, and cha-cha-cha. One more time. And then you're back to your easy walks. Right leg leading. Three, two, pivot turn for me one last time. Three easy walks. That's one and two. Number three, pivot turn and march on the spot. When we come back after this short break, be ready for fun and games. A little bit of everything. See you soon.
Move it or lose it. That's the theme of today's workout. All you've got to do is keep moving. It's not too complicated, it's a little bit of fun. Well, I've got here are four Frisbees. Now, I can't go throwing those all around the place because I just know the girls are going to end up throwing them into the water. What I'm using the Frisbees for is as a tool to sort of work a little bit more fun into our routine. All we're going to do to start with is pick an aerobic move that we can do for quite a long time that's fairly intensive. So turn your music volume up nice and loud. That's it, add some knee lifts. Now you can take your knee lifts down low. If you sort of want to take it a little bit more gently, you can. For those who can, take it up higher. Speed your music up a little bit faster now. That's it, we need the music speed to come up a little bit faster. Push it through. Come on, let's go, turn up that speed. So our knee lifts go faster and faster and faster. A little bit more. Come on, turn it up, let's go. Lift and push. Now while you're doing your nice fast knee lifts, you keep them going. The girls are going to keep going. What I'm doing is grabbing one frisbee, running as fast as I can over to here, running back over here, grabbing another frisbee, putting it down. The whole idea is by the time I do four, what me is going to start doing is running them back to the next mat. Okay, so if you want to, you can find objects around the room, move them from one place to the other, and then you come back to knee lifts. Woo! So, if you need to move furniture, now's the time. Do it frantically, do it quickly, and then come back and do knee lifts in between, all right? Eight more of these. Eight. Push. Seven. Push. Six. Pretty, pretty simple, guys. Four more. Four. Out. Three. Out. Two. How about marching forward and back? March two, three. And clap. Oh, we've got another person finished. We're going pretty fast. Run as fast as you can. Come on, quick, 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 quick. Don't take it easy. It's really meant to be short and intense. Keep this going. The Frisbees are on the way back to me. Go, Rhonda, go, Rhonda, go. Woo! That's it. We're nearly there. What you're going to be doing next is picking up two objects in your hands. Something that's fairly firm. We're going to do some hand weights. All right, if you've got an exercise tube, you can use the exercise tube. Or you can pick up your hand weights. All right, let's go. If you don't have anything nearby, just use your body weight. That's it. Come on, team, let's go. And lift. Down. And lift. Come on, legs. Eight more. Eight. Seven. Six. That's five. Four. Three. Two. And then side raises with the arms. Out to the side. Keep working the legs. Sit down low. Abdominals brace nice and tight. Lifting your elbows. Keep the elbows bent. Take the pressure off the elbows by bending them. But keep them nice and high. That's eight, seven, six, five, you're nearly there. Four, three, two, hand weights down. All right, start jogging on the spot. So you're coming up towards your backside. While you're jogging on the spot, your arms are going up and down nice and hard. I'm running again, I'm going the other direction. Whew. One. Two, go, three, four, go Rhonda. Woo. Feet coming up towards your backside. Keep your body moving. Keep your stomach muscles in tight. We're mixing aerobic exercise with strength training. Come on. The sooner they get all the way around, the sooner we get back into our hand weights. Keep pushing. Woo. You should be huffing and puffing by now. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Bring it down to heel digs. Heels out. Low impact or high impact, doesn't really, really matter. You make the choice. Keep your stomach muscles in tight. Woo, we're nearly there. Nearly time to pick up those hand weights again. Go as fast as you can, one more time. Hey team. Grab your hand weights again. Right leg forward, left leg back. Let's curl. Heads up high, chest up. The guys with the tubing have done well. They put the tubing underneath the front foot. They're working those bicep curls. Lower and squeeze. Body's tall. All right, team, take the lunge down to the bottom and hold. Arms go up and down. Isometric contraction through the legs. Keep the arms moving. Squeeze up and down. 
squeeze up and change it over. Lunging down and up, bodies up nice and tall. Give the time go quickly. It does go pretty quickly when you do this sort of work. You don't have time to think. You don't know what's coming up next. What is coming up next is a short break. Time to have a drink, have a little stretch. Keep moving, we'll be straight back. Okay, things are getting more intense as far as aerobic work goes. If you're in your own house, all you have to do is keep moving. I've got a vortex here. What's going to happen? We'll set up a move. All right, just marching out nice and easy to begin. All right, then we're going to change this one into squats. Narrow position. Squat and lift. We're going to keep the leg work going on for a little while. While you're still working through your legs, I'm going to be doing the same routine as before. Four frisbees, and then I'm also going to do the vortex throwing thing. So what happens is, I'm running back and forth, four frisbees. Keep yourself squatting. That's it, Mia. There's one. There's two. There's three. And there's four. But then I have to throw the vortex. Keep squatting, guys. Don't stop. I then have to throw the vortex two times. As far as I can, run back. As far as I can, run back and then give it to Mia and it's her turn. Keep squatting, everyone. Oh! I'm coming. <laughs> Back to where I was. If it was duck. Woo! Running down as far as I can. I jump the vortex with me and a turn to do the frisbee thing and the vortex thing. And we're squatting. Oh, it's nice to be back. Down and up. Bring your hands in. Add a knee. Squat. Knee. Squat. Knee. Now what you could be doing is sort of running up and down the stairs in your house or running up and down the corridor. Now you're tapping someone on the shoulder and running back. Think of anything you can that's a little bit different. And then come back and join us. Woo! Squat and lift. Down, squeeze through. Come on, if you've got a personal trainer, this is the sort of thing they do, take you out in the park. With a group of people, you're all doing the same thing sometimes. Sometimes someone else is doing something a little bit different. Down, push. I can't hear that vortex making much noise. Throw it further. Big throw, come on, wind it up. Oh, what was that? Woo, feet out wide, toes turned out. Horse stance, squeeze through. Knees out to the side. Think about your breathing. Sit low and push up. Keep working through those legs. Abdominal bracing. That's four, lift. Three, and lift. Two, you're going to take it down the bottom, you're going to stay down low and squeeze. That was a beautiful big throw. Come on, when you run back, you run as fast as you can. Let's see that throw again. Oh, that one went beautiful. Knees out. Okay. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five. That's four, three. We're coming back with push ups now, team. So we're going down to the floor. The frisbees are on their way back. Go, we want to go. You just did this so you could get out of push-ups, didn't you? Hands forward. Knees or toes, doesn't matter which one you choose. Chest open. Lower down and squeeze. Keep your stomach muscles tight. Breathe out. That was a good try. Let's see if you can do a better one. The world is watching. Uh, medium. I think Michelle wins on that one. Eight more push-ups. Seven, that's six, five, come on now, four, squeeze through, three, nearly there, two, rolling over for tricep dips. Bring your legs around, hands turn towards your bottom. You can choose this option here if you wish, that's just slightly easier. Bending the elbows and squeezing up, you got your stomach muscles in really, really tight. Those you can, feet apart, bottoms off the ground, Take that down and up. Still bending your elbows. Lower the weight down, squeeze and lift. Eight more times. Down, push eight. Breathe out, seven. Are you thinking of sucking your belly button in? Think about it now, come on, and actually do it for four. Breathe out, three. 
squeeze two. I think we've got to finish with some abdominals. We're right down here already. Roll yourself all the way back and down, controlling through those abs. Take your feet off the ground, start crunching. Breathe out. While you crunch, you maintain the concentration through the belly button. Squeeze that up. Breathing out. Lift the shoulders nice and high. Squeeze and lift. Come on, you can keep these going. Try and do just a few more. When we come back after the break, it's time for a little bit of stretch and relaxation. said to me that he wondered if he could actually get this vortex to go far enough to hit the bridge. What sort of prize would we give for that? Not much. We won't worry about that one today, but maybe we'd like to see that, perhaps a little later. Roll yourself all the way down again, cross one ankle over your knee, knee out to the side, grabbing on the backs of your legs and pull your knee in towards your chest. You can relax your head down. If you've got one of these, it makes a great pillow. That's much more comfortable. They're soft and spongy. Lots of fun. Now the whole idea of today's workout was just to show you the sort of things that you can actually do, not just on your own, but how about with the kids? You can turn an exercise routine into a whole lot of fun by playing games. You're still getting a great workout, you're running around, but you can get the whole family involved and I think that's a really important thing nowadays. Let's think about the state of the world's population and especially, especially things in the Western civilizations. It doesn't seem to happen in the poorer countries where they're out there still. They don't have cars, they don't have washing machines, they don't have computers. They've got to go and live their lives as we should be doing out there very physical. The rest of us are taking it easy. We're getting fat and nourished on all the food that we have and we're not running around enough. So let's just change things a little bit. Every day you should be out there with the kids, with the dogs, with your family, with your friends, even on your own, no matter the matter, go out with a personal trainer, whatever. Get outside and be active. It's a lot of fun. Change over, take the other side. Ankle across, knee out to the side. Hands through the centre and slowly pulling in towards your chest. You should feel this one right down here, into your bottom. Keep pulling in, keep thinking about your breathing. And then just let that relax. Taking your top leg up, grabbing on the back of your thigh, and pulling in towards your chest. You're keeping your back flat, so you're not lifting your tailbone off the ground. You've got your back flat down on the ground, even if that means putting your hands a little bit lower on your leg. And then just feel the stretch. Just pull in, try and feel the stretch in the belly of your hamstring, right in the middle in the back here. Bend your knee, a little tiny rock and roll to come up. Into an upright position. One leg forward, one leg back. Work your way forward over the top of that leg. Letting your chest go down. Searching the ground for little insects. Well, let's, actually, let's hope that in your house you don't find little insects crawling around on your carpet. It wouldn't be too good. But we are outside, so it's a little bit different. Coming up, switch around, take the other side. One in front, one behind. Lift up really, really tall and then work your way forward again. Just relaxing over the top. Slowing your breathing down. Can't see any little creepy crawly things, or maybe I'm not looking far enough. And coming up. Soles of your feet together, knees out to the side. Wipe the grass off your arms. And up, use your elbows to wish your knees out to the side. Stretching. So these were just things that I, I actually had in the boot of my car. Now, most of you probably don't have things like hand weights and exercise tubing and Frisbee. Oh, like the frisbees were there because we go down the beach and we use the frisbees down the beach all the time. So this could, it could be the sort of thing that some of you have in the boot of your car. But if you don't, why not? You've got to find, you've got to find things like that. There could be cricket sets in the boot of the car. You could have tennis rackets and balls in the boot of the car. What do you have in the boot of your car? Spare tyre. Oh, no, I don't have one of those. I've got everything else. Coming up, feet together, knees together, lifting up tall, opening out your shoulder blades, stretching out through your back. Go rummaging around the house. Go and find all those fun things. And lifting up nice and tall. One arm across. All the kids at my son's school do skipping. Boys or girls, it doesn't really matter. Skipping's fantastic. Now that's something that I'm not so good at, but I have a try. All right, so mums and dads, just dig out the skipping ropes. 
see how you go with that one. Football, soccer balls. I guess that depends what country you come from, doesn't it? If you're in England, a football is a soccer ball. But we've got rugby league balls, and we've got AFL balls, and there's gridiron balls. There's these sort of ones. Up and around the other side. Looking over your shoulder. What football team do you support? Hmm, that's an interesting question, depending on what country you come from. Coming up and around. It's very confusing in Australia. There's so many different types of football. You say, what football team? It could be a rugby league team, it could be a rugby union team, it could be a soccer team. And they might suddenly decide to follow gridiron from the States. Who knows? Switch over to the other side. I'd like to say hello to all our fans in the UK, especially the Man United people. Yep, I know there's a lot of you out there all around the world. I hope you enjoyed the workout today. I hope that wherever you are, you've got a little bit inspired to just get up, get out there and do something. Keep moving, let's try and get the whole world fit and healthy. See you for the next workout. Bye for now.